This video is all about trying to make up your own set square if you haven't got one of these. Quite often we'll need to draw parallel lines or we'll need to draw right angled lines and if we haven't got a proper set square like one of these then it's very simple to make one up. Um, what All we need is a pair of scissors, a piece of cardboard, this is off an old, old tea box um, but really anything will do. A um, little bit bigger than this is probably best. This one's only about eight and a half centimeters wide and you really don't want to make a set square much smaller than these and these are about nine and a half centimeters long on that straight side there. So you really want nine or ten centimeters along that measurement there. Anyway we haven't got that so we'll just make do. Now what I've, the first thing I did after I tore the sides off the box because they had these perforations. Now you can see these perforations here, they left these rough little marks. We don't want those, at least on one side of the set square. So what I've done, I've cut that off nice and straight, or mostly straight, and I'll just trim that up a little bit. Alright, that's nice and straight now. So that'll help us later when we do our drawing. Now, all we have to do is we need to work out how we can draw a line across there that's got an angle of 45 degrees because this is a 45 degree set square and the activity that we're doing today is all about oblique projection and we need a 45 degree set square. So if we remember that if we have a square where the side lengths are all the same, if I put a diagonal in the square those two angles there are equal and they're both 45, whoops, 45 degrees and that angle there will be a 90 degree angle. So we've got a right angled isosceles triangle and that's what we're going to make up and the way that we're going to do it relies on the fact that our 45 degree set square is an isosceles triangle where those two sides are the same length. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my ruler. I'm going to accurately measure, as accurately as I can, the length along there. Now I think that's 84 millimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure along this edge 84 millimeters. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit because I'm going to measure backwards. I'm not going to start from the zero. I'm going to line up the 84 there and then and you can see it's actually really quite easy to do because you can see the white page behind it and you see the measurements and I can line up the ruler exactly there because this is dark and this is light and the ruler is see-through so it's a bit of a trick there it's easy to do so if I line that up to 84 then I mark there with a nice dark pen then right from the corner up to here I draw a nice line like that and what I've got now as accurately as I can it won't be perfect but it'll be pretty close I've got two 45 degree angles and that was a 90 degree angle because all of these pieces of cardboard they're made with right angled corners in them they're perfect rectangles when they start so that's that's helping us out now all I need to do is put my glasses on so I can see properly that'll be a bit better and then I'm going to accurate as accurately as I can cut down that line now it doesn't matter if I'm off the line a little bit as long as I stay parallel to the line if I stay parallel to the line we'll be all good because remember we have to use that line to trace along we're going to draw okay so now I've got my 45 degree set square made out of cardboard and we're good to go. Now just like we would use our set square in sliding set square mode to draw lines that are 45 degrees to another line so if I did that because it's 45 degrees in the set square that's going to be 45 degrees if I don't move the ruler remember those lines are all going to be parallel. Now this is nice and strong and rigid, nice and e easy to use. 
The cardboard set square, however, is not as thick and it's a bit floppy and it bounces around a bit. So you have to be a bit more patient, but it works just the same. So what we've got to do is we've got to make sure that we come up with a system where we can hold our ruler and then hold our cardboard set square nice and flat and then draw along there with your pencil. Now the trick is to lay your pencil back over the set square so it tends to push the cardboard down and if you do that you won't have any problems. If you have it up straight and over like that you can see that it's lifting the cardboard and the line went in under the cardboard and went offline. So that's the little trick. So hold your ruler steady, hold your cardboard like that, lay your pencil over whoop, away from your fingers and draw your line slide your set square along without moving your ruler and go again. Now it's not going to be as perfectly accurate as our 45 degree set square. Let's have a look and see how we went. That's not too bad actually. All right. Now it's not perfect 45 degrees but it's close enough for the activity that we're going to do today. Okay, you'll see, you'll still be able to do it. You'll use exactly the same techniques. Your angle might be off by a degree or so, but that doesn't really matter for the purpose of what we're doing today. Anyway, that's how you make up a cardboard 45 degree set square. Thanks for watching.